Uh, Jam for Freedom and look who I've come across. Uh, in case anyone doesn't know who you are, if you'd like to say your name and your story please. Yeah, so I'm Fifi and I'm the founder of A Stand in the Park UK and yeah, I'm just here with everybody at the Jam for Freedom Festival in the Essex countryside. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's very important to have these, uh, to meet up physically, not just online, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's the whole premise of a stand in the park, is that we were coming together physically. Um, obviously, you've got, you know, a lot of, of contacts online, I think, but I think all of us know that it's just, it's not the same as actually being together with, with your tribe. Um, and yeah so any time that we're coming together and we've got that that shared vision that shared energy um and and passion for freedom it's very very powerful you know it's all kind of sent out there into the collective um and you yeah you just you don't have that kind of energy coming from exchanges online you know we need to be with each other um yeah. So yeah, yeah, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. So yeah, let, let's just go back uh, a couple of years to the start of the stand in the park. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we're, well, we've just gone into the third lockdown at that stage, haven't we, really? Yeah, um, it was, I think. So it was February 21 was the first um, first stand. A uh, few stands were, were starting up in the UK. And yeah, we, we were in the midst of the crazy restrictions and I, at that point it was you know no more than two or three people together and you could only be out for an hour so called exercise you know all of that madness so it's we've come a long way really um we, we, we have we, we have yeah <laughs> we're still here <laughs> we're still relatively sane <laughs> yeah. yeah i must say it was a uh though the stand in the park which i and me and my wife started going to in uh, april so not long after the yeah not long at inception, all and those and the marches really brought it home to us that yeah. we're not alone there's so many people you know like-minded people out there yes yeah there's something about again seeing that physically like especially on on the marches you know i mean it's whatever people think about how effective protests and marches are um to actually see thousands hundreds of thousands at, at some points of people all coming together gives you so much hope in those really really dark times it was just such a relief to so many people um to just see everybody there this this sea of people all all there to yeah fight for freedom yeah it, it's fantastic yes. yeah and uh, uh yeah we we've made friends through the stand in the yeah. parks and yeah. uh, uh people we've met on the marches yeah it's, and i can't remember who it was but in one of the talks we heard uh one of the positives that yeah because obviously the, every negative comes with a positive yeah. and one of those that's come out of the last three years is meeting all the people who you'd have never oh, met oh absolutely <laughs> yeah i mean it's one of those funny things isn't it it's like it was the best of times it was the worst of times um because for a lot of us although obviously what we've gone through is you know it's still quite shell shocking to look back and wow we actually went through that but yeah like you say there's so many people that we wouldn't have met so many lives that have been completely changed in the best way possible and it could only have happened through this and i've always said actually that this as terrible as it is it had to happen that there's no other way there had to be that point you know that building up um and this kind of explosion of of awakening you've got to have the catalyst for people to awaken obviously it's uncomfortable being kind of pushed out of your mm. your little comfort zone indeed um, yeah so uh what are the future plans for the stand in the park well <laughs> we're still standing <laughs> i mean i think you know it, the stands are, all, are constantly evolving and growing, so there's so much that has come from them and continues to. 
Um, so I think it's really just, yeah, we, as long as this is going, as long as the agenda is still rolling out, we will be there. Um, I think, you know, you get these kind of lulls where it seems like, oh, well, you know, we're not locked down. We're not under huge restrictions. Um, and so things seem to quieten down also on the protest front. But we know <laughs> that things are coming down the pike you know that's it's it's not gone anywhere it's not going anywhere but we've got these foundations now so the stands are there people know they're there and you know that the parks will fill again once um, you know like the numbers were before even more because it's an, it will be a necessity In, so indeed yeah we I checked the uh, stand in the park sort of uh, telegram groups uh, every day and yeah, and, uh, yeah you know it's yeah, we're, and we've got this early warning radar thing now so we, we can spot nonsense from a while, exactly. while off and, yeah. and, and we'll be back on it just just like yeah, that, and we yeah. found you know we've we found our people that's the main thing mm. as well is that whatever they throw at us we're not on our own anymore so um, you know we're, we're already kind of prepared in that sense to, to meet whatever's thrown at us um, but yeah I guess we just we just keep doing what we're doing and like I said there's so much constantly from this gathering of people of like-minded people it's just created you know whole other community new communities and all kinds of creative projects and and amazing stuff is going on so it's all happening it's just because things seem a little bit quiet on the surface at the moment um, but yeah people are kind of ready to galvanize um, when things hit the fan again which they are Look, guaranteed they, to unfortunately they will do yes yes um, and final question uh, just in case anyone doesn't know about stand in the park uh, where can they learn more so we're all over social media so you you can go on to Facebook if you just literally put in a, sta a stand in the park um, there are numerous groups um, f by country um, region there's a page as well which is kind of it's more international we're, we're on Instagram um, Twitter like most of them I think the website is www.standinthepark.org so you've got all the stands listed there by country and area also um, yeah and that's where you can kind of get an idea of where people are meeting um, and you know any other information telegram of course as well there are groups on there so if you want to kind of connect with people online as well as the stands that's a good good place to go okay i'll, I'll leave uh links in the description yeah, box uh, and uh fifi founder of the uh, stand in the park uk thank you very much for your time oh you're welcome thanks for speaking to me pleasure pleasure <laughs>